Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMakeVince.com and in this video today is going to be the quick version of trying to fix this Dell visor. So this is a virtual reality headset and there's no image at all, it's completely dead. So the controllers work and the motion control of it works when you look around the place I can see it moving on the computer screen but yet I'm not getting any image at all through the lenses here. So let's take it apart and get straight into it. Right, that one seemed to come out very easy. I didn't pull that cable. The thing is, I don't know where it actually went in. Could that be it? That's for the power, isn't it? Look, that's for the power. Right, I've got my hopes up now. But where did that come out of? Somewhere on the right hand, somewhere down this left hand side here. The thing is, I don't know how to get this off because this sensor's in the way and I can't see how to undo it. Oh, here we go. Excellent. Right, where is the power connector? because I might not have to take it apart any further. I bet you that's it under the captain tape here, look. Do you reckon that's it there? Under here? Right, let's try and plug that back in and see if it's going to work. Oh, I've got my hopes up now. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't get my hopes up. That is back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tape back down on it, but it's not very sticky. I think I'm going to put another layer on because otherwise that problem is going to happen again. Hopefully that there now will keep it in a little bit better. So now I've got to try and get the sensor in and also the two screens back connected. I don't know how easy or hard this is going to be. Obviously I haven't put this back in it yet. So now we're going to connect this up to the computer and see if anything happens. Turn these on. Right, so these are both on now. Let's see if I can see anything through here. No. Still can't see anything at all. Oh, annoying. Was that the fault then or not? Or have I created some other fault now? Right, okay, I'm just going to bring this over to the PC just to make sure it's definitely not connecting. Right, okay, uh, yeah, it's definitely not coming through on here, but it, the good thing is the cameras at the front are working, because watch, it's actually recognising the controllers up on screen, can you see that? So that's coming from the cameras here, and it's the same with this one here, so I'm confident that the cameras are working, and also I've definitely got audio coming through this cable here, because when I've got my earphones plugged into it, I can actually hear the, the sounds and stuff, so it is just a display. So at this moment in time, I don't know. I mean, right now I'm thinking it could be the sensor here because it's uh, it's completely off here. So does this indicate that basically the sensor's not working? I don't know. The thing is, it's so horrible to take apart that it's not something that I can do that many times before it's not going to let me put it back together again. But right now, it's still not doing anything, so I've got no choice. I have to take it back to uh, take it take it apart again. So let's get it back over to the blue mat and have another look at it. Right, so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle it completely. I think the sensor's working, because if I go on these two pads here, you can see my meter's reading open loop. Yeah, and now watch this, when I cover them up, you can see I'm getting a reading now. And now if I let go, so that says to me that the sensor is working because when I cover cover up the sensor there is something happening and also I've got continuity between the pins here and the places up here. So I think, I don't know, but I think that bit's okay. Perfect. Right, I'm really glad that I've uh, done that. And also, it's interesting to take it apart in bits as well to see how it all goes together. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to worry just yet about the... the oh, hold on. Ah, uh, you know that little thing that was loose? That's purely for the headphones. That's just for the headphones. That's not going to make any difference anyway. Well, at least I know now, so that plug there was nothing to do with it. If it was loose, it might have been loose, but it was just for the headphone jack anyway. So that's useful to know. So, in which case then, I definitely haven't found a fault on this, because that was confusing me, because I thought, you know, did I fix that fault? Have I put a new fault on it? So, 
it goes back to me thinking that possibly it might be a cable issue. Okay, so I've just counted up every single one of my connections here and basically I have got the full array of pins on the HDMI. So as far as I know, the cable itself on the HDMI side is definitely not faulty. Don't know about the USB side, but on the HDMI side 100% all the pins are accounted for. The only ones that are not here is pins 14, uh, just pin, pins 14, that is the only one that doesn't, that's not accounted for and that would be for Ethernet. That would be for Ethernet over HDMI which is not going to be needed in this instance here. So uh, yeah, they're all uh, they're all here, so obviously it's not a cable problem. This is really getting to uh, confuse me now as to what it could be. Right, this is interesting. I connected it up and it's run into this problem again. This happened a couple of times before when I did it, and now down here it is red hot. That I can't tell you how hot that is. I can barely touch it. In fact, I'm going to get some IPA to show you how hot that is. Right, watch this now. So, a little bit of IPA. Ready? Look, is it that capacitor there? So you really I need to get to the other side of this chip. Saying that, I should be able to unplug this. And if that's... F no. Should I be able to unplug this? Would the chip still be hot if I unplug this? I think I'm going to give it a go. Right, so I've unplugged it from the computer, so now this is dead. So let's unplug it from here. The whole thing is red hot. And this shouldn't be. This is just a cable. This whole thing is... That's burning hot. Right, now let's put it this way around and see if we can get anything on that. I mean, other parts of the board are warm to touch, but this here is burning hot. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it back into the computer. Plug back into the computer and again I can feel the heat building up, so watch this now. Right, let's see if we can see where it's coming from. Let's try this chip here. Yeah, that's hot. So is that, but not as hot as this. That seems to be the hottest, doesn't it? Mind you, it's all red hot. I better be careful in case I damage my computer. Let's just turn that over this side here. No, I don't think it's... I mean, it, definitely not these two here. This is very hot here. Very hot. But is that just the opposite side to this one? I think it's this chip in the corner. I don't think it's the chip I thought it was. Look at that. Right, I'm going to look at this chip closely and see what it does. I managed to get a photo of the chip, so there you go, that's it there. If anybody knows what that is, I mean, I'm going to Google it now. Right, unfortunately, it looks like it's bad news. These chips look very specialist chips and they're not for sale on eBay or anything like that. If you have a look, it looks like it's Spectra 7 and it's on about virtual reality here, about high speed, lag free, blah, 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 blah. And if I go to chips here, and then if I go to look VR8200, this one here, if I click on this one, it gives a little breakdown of what it is, so you can pause that and have a read of that. Unfortunately, it means nothing to me, but it looks like they are specialist, specialist chips. Now, I'm nearly, uh, can't be 100% sure, but I'm pretty certain it shouldn't do that. If they're getting that hot, remember there's no thermal pads or anything on here, then that's going to fail very, very quickly. I'm certain that, that this chip here, the VR, 8200 chip is faulty, but there is no replacement cables from what I can see. I went on to iFixit and people are asking, can you get replacement cables? And nobody's given an answer. I've looked on eBay and all the headsets are over £300. There's one that's broken, but it says that the display is black. So maybe this could, I'm not saying it is, but maybe this might be a weak part on the system. In which case, then maybe all the ones that are going to be up for spares will have a faulty cable. I don't know what to do. I think, I mean, I'm pretty certain that it is this. Right, I've been messing around with it here, just connecting it up again. I just wanted to see whether uh, whether it would still recognise it when it was connected up. 
and I accidentally touched the part where the uh, this cable connects to the, the board, you know, the, the screens, and the one over here lit up, so I've just put a couple of screws back in there. Unfortunately, this is not good news. Right, so we're connected now. There we go, look. Right. There, it's on. When I look through it, the display does not look right. It's not displaying what it does on the computer screen. In fact, right now it's not even connecting. It's saying something went wrong, but it looks smashed. So now it's going in interesting colours. Oh no, it's not. It's the same colour. Just depends which way you hold it. It goes from like pink to red uh, to uh, green. But I don't know now if I can show you this. There you go. What do you see in there? A nice crack going down the screen. It's hard for me to show you, but when I put that up to my eye, I can really see it. Hopefully you can see it. It's running down here. You know what I think's happens here? There's so much heat coming from here, like so much heat. I think that the chip here has gone faulty. I'm almost certain that that chip has gone faulty. And I think what's happened is the heat has generated, lots of heat has been generated here. And look, it's cracked the screen, which is next to all the heat. Because even now, I can feel the heat's... I can feel the heat coming through here and it's only been on a few minutes. So I think it's just built up, built up, built up and then crack this one because of the heat. Now let's get this thing apart and see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, there you go, it's all cracked. Look. Can you see down here? Yeah, look, you can see it's flexing there. You can see the crack there now. Yeah, okay, so that's uh, obviously never going to work again. And there you go, you can actually see the imprint there off the crack. I wonder does that sort of different colour there mean that that's where it was heat, where the heat got to it. Do you know what, I really do believe that it was heat that caused this. And look, you can see through there now. I wonder how easy these are to take out without breaking them. remember when I touched the diode that the light came on that's because the screen itself was damaged and it's just the backlight that's coming on so if you have a look there's a separate little cable just here that goes into uh, this little part here which is the backlight so now in taking the other one out I've personally I've damaged the other one this was already damaged but the other one I damaged so now look because this one's damaged as well when I connect them both up watch can you see that that lights up when I touch that diode and watch now this lights up when I touch the diode, so basically all that's happening is I'm kind of making that backlight come on. So it's not the screen itself, it's purely the backlight that's working. Now I have looked, you can actually get screens for this from AliExpress. They're about £94 for both screens. Now if it was just that, I would actually do that. But remember, it's the chip, there's something wrong with that chip, because even now I can feel uh, uh, so much heat coming off it. So I'd need to do the screens and also either get a chip and try to put it on there or have to buy the complete new cable. And the cable is not going to be, I can't find the cable for sale anywhere. So by the time you add in £90 for the screens and even if the cables were released in the future, add that onto the £80 that I spent and you would actually near enough be able to buy a fully you know, new working one of these depending on how much the cable was. So you've got to be kind of careful with, with stuff like this. The, the spare parts can often cost more. You know, just a few spare parts can cost more than the whole thing. But I thought that was quite interesting. So that's the reason why that screen is lighting up there. So that proves that that was definitely broken anyway. Right, so that is it for this video. Unfortunately for me, it was quite a disappointing one because I wasn't really given a proper chance to be able to fix it. And also there was two faults wrong with it. But I suppose I do feel confident that I have proved what the fault was. And in my heart of hearts, I do believe that it was the heat that cracked this screen because there's too much of a coincidence that the screen is right on this side and this is getting unbelievably hot, especially when it's contained in the case as well. I think the heat would be a lot more. So, uh, yeah, the other alternative is possibly that it was dropped and in dropping it, it's also damaged the chip, which I suppose you would think is a more likely explanation. But if I'm to go by what I read and if it was only used for two hours, then it is believable that there was actually a default uh, a problem with that chip and uh, it's cracked the screen. So I think 
I think I'm going to go with that. Obviously, if you know otherwise, add it down to the comments. I would like to hear other opinions, but I think that's what uh, that's what I think it is anyway. So maybe I could turn it into some fun game where I can kind of like do this and uh, you know get the party going. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to call it a day. I've spent half the day on this today and got nowhere. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more trying to fix and trying to fix and failing videos. Take care. Bye now.